As far as the, the, the continued investment is concerned, that comes down to a few things. Um, first of all, everyone appreciates that the resources that we found here in Guyana are, are competitive on a global basis. They are a good quality resource. Um, from an ExxonMobil point of view, we have a good number of those opportunities globally in our portfolio. I think what differentiates Guyana in our portfolio is the materiality. I mean, there, there is, it's not just one great resource, there's a number of them that we've discovered. Uh, they are somewhat interlinked, uh, they're not discrete resources, they're, there's a complexity to those. So you can't just say, well, I'm going to develop one and leave the others. You need to have an integrated plan and, uh, and a series of projects that delivers the kind of efficiency uh, of development that we, we believe can really be achieved and that will be most beneficial for the country. So, so that said, we have also, you know, we're in the process with Lisa Phase 2. It doesn't make any sense to stop that project halfway through. At Payara, we started the review process with the government over a year ago. So we're, we're committed, if you like, to the government to move that forward, uh, assuming that they are also committed to, to that development. And so with that level of commitment and a vision that there could be more projects afterwards and that we can see more efficiencies being gained by design one, build many, then we, we just view this as, as hitting a lot of those positive, critical differentiators that make it possible to continue going in Guyana despite us having to make, I would say, some really tough investment decisions around the world in that business.